Hello. Now, someone over at BBC One has, in all their wisdom, decided to take the never-ending story off. So, you might even have time to watch this live. Anyway, this is my latest synthesizer. Uh, the Arturia Micro Brute, which is, uh, as I've said in the name of this video, gloriously analogue. I'm no expert on all these things, so... I just did the thing that I often do with bits of kit. You get it out of the box and you start noodling around with things until it starts making a noise. And so, and one of the cool things about this, as I've already said in a photo, is it comes with these patch cards. So if you've come up with a patch and want to remember where you've put all the things, you can make a note of where you've set everything on one of these cards. And then even then, stuff is a bit loose because I discover things about it, uh, particularly the low-frequency oscillator here, uh, that open up all sorts of possibilities. So currently we've got the low-frequency oscillator set to the triangle wave, and it's a fairly basic sort of 1970s... <laughs> Pump that up a little bit so you can hear it. It's monophonic, you can't do any chords. But I did discover something rather cool about the LFO. Uh, so there it is in triangle mode. I just love, there's no sort of on off for the LFO, you can just sort of fade it in and out. And so yeah, I discovered there's some gorgeous things you can do with the LFO, so you heard that is the triangle wave LFO, but then you can, you can use the sawtooth wave LFO, which does this. Nineteen seventies arcade machines. And you even get a little light come up here. You can't see very well, but there's a little light comes on there, and that indicates the beginning and end of a sequence. And the one I discovered that's the most fun is the uh, sawtooth wave, where it does this sort of thing. So there's your raw notes. As soon as you turn up the sawtooth wave, you get this. So suddenly you can do every 1970s impression of what a computer sounds like. This is the most analogue one I've had so far, Christopher. I've, I've got over there in my little synth corner, uh, up top there is the Korg Volker Keys, which is a really basic analogue synth for about 150 quid. This is about 100 quid more than that, and is just so wonderfully more flexible. <laughs>
So that's sort of the story so far. The useful thing is it comes with this set of um, patch cards, which means I can now spend the next uh, ooh, 20 minutes before the news update comes on and I'll find out what the news update's about. Uh, noodling around trying some of these out so thank you for watching and uh, hopefully some of you can catch this later I'll leave you with a little bit of um and goodbye for now